Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this Christmas holiday makeup tutorial. Green and red of course are the Christmas colors so I hope you guys enjoy. First I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my skin. I've already primed my eyes as well so I'll leave those products down below for you guys if you're interested in what I use. So the first palette we're going to go in with is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. So first we're going to go in with this shade right here. This is going to be our brow bone highlight so applying that right underneath the brows and blending it down. Then with this shade on a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to go ahead and put this right into the crease and blend this up going from outer corner all the way to inner corner. Because we are going to be doing a smoky eye with greens, I really want to make sure that this shade goes a little bit higher just because smoky eyes, you want to make sure that that transition shade is seen. Then going in with this shade, I'm going to go ahead and again start in the outer corner and blend this right into my crease. I do blend this up slightly again, but I am putting the majority of the pigment right into my socket. After I've got the shadow to my liking, I do go back with my big fluffy brush just to make sure that everything is nice and blended together because of course you want to make sure everything is nice and blended when you're doing a good smoky eye. Then we're going to actually go in with MAC shadow. So the first shadow I'm going in with is Bottle Green. I'm holding it kind of like that because one of the shadows broke in it. So first I'm going in with Bottle Green. I'm using this Morphe brush and this shadow in particular, whenever you're doing any kind of green or dark shadows like this, you're going to really want to take your time, especially this shadow shadow I felt like I really had to go back and blend it and blend it out so what I'm doing is I'm mainly focusing the shadow right into my crease you don't want to go really high with colors like this because of course if you go too high it looks like you know you got socked in the eye and you really just want to make sure you kind of put this shadow right into the crease and then slowly blend it up if you want to so like I said just going in with a green and then I'm taking this one by Kelly this is Kelly green I should say I think it's just Kelly with by Mac and I'm gonna blend that right in between the dark green and the transition shade because it's just going to make that green transition a little bit better into the rest of the shadows. Then I do go back with bottle green and this is where I'm going to start to put some color right into the inner corner. I'm going to create kind of a halo eye with this eye look today. So I'm placing this right into the inner corner and then I'm going to go ahead and again start to blend even more just making sure that that green color is really nice and blended. Then for the center of the lid, I'm going in with this shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette, and this is going to go right in the center as you see. I'm first applying this right to the lid with the dry shadow, and then I actually am going to go in and dampen my brush. I love to dampen my brush when you're using shimmer shadows because, as you can see, the shadow is beautiful on its own, but if you really want to bump up any kind of look and just make that shadow stand out even more, as you can see here, I'm dampening my brush. I think I use the Smashbox Primer Water, but if you have water, MAC Fix Plus, anything that you have will do just stamp in the brush going back into that same shadow and just pressing that right on top right in the center. After you've had your shadow down, I'm going in with that blending brush again. I add a little bit of bottle on it just to go ahead and help that lid shade blend into the rest of the eye because you don't want to have a stark line of that center shade. So I am just going to go in with a little bit of bottle, just applying that right to the edges as well as in the crease so that the shadow blends into the look better. Then taking this really beautiful dark green shade in the Morphe palette, this is where I'm going to go ahead and deepen and darken the outer corner a little bit more because just to add a little bit of dimension and make this eye look really pop, I wanted to make sure that I dampened, or not dampened, I darkened the outer corner just to go ahead and like I said, really accentuate this eye look and just really make my eyes even pop more. Next, me being a klutz as always, I'm dropping the next product. So this is a Becca highlighter in the shade Golden Mint. I actually just got this in a PR package, so thank you, Becca. And I'm taking this highlighter shade and placing it right in the center of my lid. And as you can see, going in with that light green like that, it just really makes your eyes pop. So I'm just going right in the center with that, pretty much on top of the other shimmer, shimmer shadow that we put down before, and it's just going to make the eyelid pop even more. Next, I'm going in with lashes. I'm using these ones by Lily Lashes in the shade Doe 
Aloha, which I love these because they flare out at the end a little bit and they're a lot thicker than a lot of other lashes that I love. These ones are so comfortable as well. I feel like after wearing them, like I literally, you know, sometimes heavy lashes, they can be too heavy and you can see them. Like you can see the lash while, you know, the rest of the day is going on. But for these ones, they're so light, they're so comfortable and I literally just love these lashes. I'm definitely gonna wear these again this Christmas or for, you know, for the Christmas season this weekend. You know what I mean? Also, when it comes to applying these lashes, I'm going to go ahead and put them as close to my real lashes as possible because we aren't going in with lingwing liner. We aren't going in with any black shadow. So putting these as close to the lash line as possible to make them look real and not so fake. I even go ahead and pinch them with my tweezers just to make sure that they are as close to the lashes as possible. Off camera, I did my face makeup just because I feel like I do my face makeup in so many tutorials recently, but I will share with you guys the products that I used. So I'm going in with two Becca primers. I'm using the backlight primer as well as the first light primer and then for foundation I'm going in with the Becca ultimate coverage complexion cream which is by far one of my favorite foundations ever to set everything I'm going in with my RCMA no color powder to go ahead and do brows I use my Sigma brow duo in medium and I actually also use con for concealer I went in with the Becca aqua luminous concealer and I think it was in light or fair as well now I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze up my face I'm going in with the Mac give me sun bronzer and then go ahead and contour a little bit more I'm using my Kat Von D shade like contour palette again just going through this kind of quick with you guys because you see me do this a million bajillion at one times for blush I'm going in with this tartlet one and this is in the shade celebration I don't know if they sell this anymore but honestly any kind of peaky more peachy shade since peach and green go together really well I'm just gonna go ahead and place that on my cheeks with my Sigma f37 brush For highlight, I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in So Hollywood, which is one of my favorite highlighters, I think, of all time as well, just because it's so beautiful, especially at the holidays. You really sparkle with it, and I absolutely love it. And then I actually am gonna dip a little bit into my Golden Mint highlighter that I use on my eyes, just going in with a little, little tiny bit, just to kind of put it right at the tops of my cheeks, just, you know, just to add that little bit of green to tie the whole thing together. Now, to finish up the eyes, I'm going back in with Bottle Green on my Morphe brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this right to my lower lash line. Going from outer corner all the way to inner corner, I'm just using a blending brush because since it is a smoky eye, I do kind of want it to be um, a thicker line, I guess you could say, on the lower lash line. So I am just going back and forth, making sure that outer corner is blended to your lower lash line. Going back in with that Becca highlighter, I'm pretty much gonna do like what I did on the upper lid and just place this right in the center of my lower lash line. This brush is a little bit damp from when I used it on my upper lid, so just applying a little bit of that highlight right in the center, and again, it will pretty much mimic what we did on the upper lid. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my black eyeliner. Of course, I'm gonna apply this right into the borderline. If you wanna go in with white liner or green eyeliner, that would look really beautiful as well, but for me, I'm tried and true black eyeliner girl, so just apply that right to the borderline. Then I'm going in with Makeup Geek Shimma Shimma, and I'm going to apply a good amount of this right into the inner corner of my eye because I just really wanted to have a really intense inner corner highlight to go with this eye look, and I felt it looked so beautiful. Even just a lot of shadow. I, this was me being so excited because I loved the way this makeup look was turning out. Going in with a little bit of mascara, I'm just applying it to my real lashes because you don't want to apply mascara to mink lashes, of course. And then to go ahead and apply a little bit to my lower lash line as well. This is the Tarte Tarte. Artiste mascara and the eye look is done. So now what I went with of course is a red lip. You can honestly go with a nude lip. I really love the way that these eyes look with a nude lip. Honestly, I took the red lipstick off right after just because we were sitting around having dinner. It was my dad's birthday when I filmed this. So I did take the red lipstick off, but of course to stay in the sense of the holidays and Christmas, I'm going in first with my MAC lip liner in Cherry and then I go in with the Anastasia liquid lipstick in Bloodline and I just fill that in and of course it's red and green for the holidays. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really, really love this eye look. I'm trying to figure out, because I got three things to go to this weekend, I'm trying to figure out which one I should wear this to. So stay tuned. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Love you guys so much, and I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Bye, guys.